Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, September 20th, 2021. And I want to share something here. Um, I was just trying to put some numbers together and trying to understand where we are. Now, I want to look at the 70 years of Israel in the simplest terms possible. And I want to look at both days from the rebirth of Israel, considering the Palestinian partition plan of November 29th, 1947, and the rebirth of Israel, May 14th, 1948. I want to consider both of these days. Now, so what I have seen here up, up on top, if we are looking at the 70 years of Israel, from the order to restore Jerusalem. And we're going to go the simplest uh, format possible. We would we would go 70 times 360 days making it 25,200 days. Okay, what we're not we're not going to find an exact day here, but we're going to find a general ballpark uh, where the 70 years end and where the seven years begin and end from both of these days. So November 29th, 1947, this was the Palestinian partition plan. And if we go forward 70 years, okay, 70 years, 25,200 days, it brings us to November 26th, 2016. Okay, remember that it was... On November 20th, 2016, was the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign. And that took us from November of 2016 to September 23rd of 2017. So this is a very interesting piece of information that from the Palestinian partition plan, uh, exactly 70 years brings us right to within a week of the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign when G when Jupiter was just entering Virgo okay now if we go forward seven years from that day November 26 2016 and we go forward seven years 2520 days it brings us to October 21st 2023 now, isn't it interesting that exactly one week before October 21st, 2023, we have the second of the three great American eclipses, October 14th, 2023, is uh, the second of the, of the three great American eclipses. So, if we were to go... I mean, let's just put our heads together here. And uh, if we were to go from the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign on November 20th, 2016, and go forward the seven years, the 2,520 days, it would bring, bring us exactly to the, to the second solar eclipse uh, of October 14th, 2023. Okay, well anyway, this this uh, this first 70 year period plus 7 brings us to a very interesting uh, time frame. Now let us take a look at this, uh, the second portion of this from May 14th, 1948. And the rebirth of Israel going forward 70 years, 70 times 360 days, 25,200 days brings us to May 12th, 2017. And then going forward seven years from there, 2,520 days brings us to April 5th, 2024. Now, this is even more interesting because this is not a week away from the eclipse in the United States, but it's uh, it's actually only three days away from the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse. So both of the days, if we lo we're looking at the 70 years of Israel, 
okay, the 70 years of Israel, based on just exact numbers of prophetic years, 25,200 days, it brings us to November 26, 2016. That would be the end of the 70 years there and the beginning of the final seven years. Then we have the second portion of this brings us to May 12th, 2017. And from there, the seven years brings us to April 5th, 2024. Uh, between October 21st, 2023 and April 5th, 2024, both of those dates line up with the two eclipses over the United States. Then we have the first eclipse, which was August 21st, 2017. The second eclipse, which is October 14th, 2023. And the third eclipse, which is April 8th, 2024. So, I mean, we have the time frame, not only with all of the eclipses showing us a seven-year time frame, but we have the actual numbers from the rebirth of Israel leading us to 2016 to 2017 and then leading us to 2023 into 2024 okay so i just wanted to share this piece of information with you because i had never taken a look at it like this but i just want to say that we have been in the tribulation okay we are in the tribulation and we are right now watching the rise of the Antichrist. We're watching the beginning of the Mark of the Beast. And we're watching how all of this is showing us that the days of the Great Tribulation, just as Jesus said, are going to be shortened. Okay? And this is a very encouraging piece of information showing us that once the rapture of the church finally does happen, it's much less, even less than three and a half years because the three and a half year marker would have been around December of last year. And we're already into that, like a whole nother birth cycle, like nine months less. So, I uh, this is the way I uh, perceive everything. And uh, I think this is very encouraging piece of information that gives us uh, another understanding of the 70 plus the seven years of Israel. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.